Hey guys, Google just released their agent development kit, which allows you to develop AI agents completely for free. Basically, Google is now directly competing with other agentic framework providers like CreAI and OpenAI. And in today's video, I'm gonna evaluate all three frameworks across five key dimensions so that you'll know exactly which is the best agentic framework to build powerful AI agents in 2025. And don't worry if you're not an expert, I am used to present to hundreds of developers and business owners, so I'll make sure that everything remains easy to understand. And finally, for those who want to dig deeper, you can download a more in-depth evaluation in the description below. So enough talking, let's go over to Google Starter Kit, spin up a quick AI agent to start figuring out which framework is best. All right, so the first dimension is how easy it is to get started with Google's Agent Development Kit, also called ADK. So the first thing that I really like is the comprehensive documentation. So there's a very clear um, quick start where they teach you how to build your first AI agent. Here is just a very simple one where uh, your agent has access to two tools and it's an agent to whom you can ask about the weather in different cities, which leads me to the second thing that I really like about uh, Google's ADK. You can actually launch a server locally, meaning that you can very easily test out and see how your uh, agents work under the hood. So here, if I ask what is the weather in New York, what you're gonna see is that you can understand how the agent, so weather time agent, has been interacting with the tool. So here you can very quickly identify, okay, so the agent understood that I needed to call this tool, get weather, and then it's replying. This is not something that I've seen anywhere else. I think this is like the really something that as you are building complex agents, which will be super valuable. And if we compare that to OpenAI's uh, documentation, on how to get started with AI agents, it's still very basic uh, where you just go through a doc, uh, documentation. However, I would say that if you compare that to Crew AI, what I really like about Crew AI's documentation is that you can chat with it. So here, if you are asking about how to get started, it's gonna give you just a set of, if you need an example, give me an example. It's actually gonna tell you uh, how to build your first agent. So I would say that in terms of ease of use to get started, Crea is still winning because you can chat with the documentation. However, as we're gonna see with uh, Google's ADK, as we are building more complex agents, the, the ability to launch, to launch a server to test it out is gonna be super valuable. The second dimension is about the unique capabilities of each framework. I would say that the, the one thing that stands out the most in the agent development kit is this thing called artifacts. Artifacts is essentially allowing you throughout your workflow to store data in any kind of format. So as you can see, you can store data in as an image PNG, as a PDF. So what this means is that as you are using LLMs which have multimodal capabilities, meaning you can, you can get text out of images or generate an image out of text, you're gonna be able to integrate that and have your agents to communicate with, with all types of information. So you have a first agent who gets an audio, it can generate an image out of it. Then the second agent can take this image and then convert it back into text. So as you can imagine, it opens up so many use cases and I'm so excited about this one. I think the unique capability of OpenAI's agent SDK is the uh, idea that you can just add an audio layer on top of your AI agent. So you can just build it as like however you'd like, and then you can very easily just add an audio layer to it. So I think that th this makes it very easy for you to go from like a simple text agent to introducing like a voice capability to it. And I would say that Query is probably a lot more basic. One key feature of Query is framework is that you can combine flows with crews so it's a little bit different but i really like it because essentially flows allow you to run you know some sort of like deterministic action so a single api call can send structured information to an employee to look at it and then you can kick off more crews so as you're building an army of different agents it makes it very nice if you want to embed a bunch of ai agents into your operations if we're looking at the unique capabilities of each framework i am so excited about google's adk because it's going to open up basically multi-model AI agent uh, use cases. The third dimension is about how can you actually trust the data that comes out of your AI agents. And I think that all of the frameworks have tackled this using a principle called gut rails. However, I would say that if you look at Google's agent development kit, they have like the most comprehensive set of guardrails that you can implement. And I think what's quite interesting is that you can set guardrails either at the model level, at the tool level, or at the task agent level. 
And basically what this means is you can really be very precise in the kind of information that you want to send to your LLM. So you can imagine if you have a client who says, I don't want to share specific information with those LLMs, you could actually tackle that. I think what's interesting with OpenAI's approach to it, so they also have got Rails, but what they also have is this thing where you can remove sensitive information from streaming events. Streaming events are just like a way to give feedback to whoever is using your AI agent about where it stands. So it can share information about, you know, the preliminary results that have been generated, but also give you an idea about the status. And what's important with the streaming events is that you can actually remove sensitive information and be like quite explicit on what to remove. Finally, if we look at query AIs, you can also set up guardrails, but only at the task level. So what this means is that you can kind of control what goes to a specific agent and then what comes out of it, but that's pretty much it. So it's probably not as complex and comprehensive. So I would say that again, when it comes to evaluating how much you can trust the agents and how robust they are, I would say that Google's AI agent development kit is again a winning against the three. So the fourth dimension is about how quickly you can build out all of these agents. So if you have already built an agent in the past, you probably know that what takes the longest is generally to build custom integrations and tools. And as you can imagine with Google's ADK, What's amazing is that you can tap into Google's rich ecosystem. So they have hundreds of pre-built connectors coming from Google Cloud, so you know Google Maps. But more importantly, you could connect to Salesforce, Workday, SAP, and so on very easily. But what's also quite nice is that you can also connect to third-party tools, so from Langchain, CreAI, and so on. So it doesn't really compromise on any of it. Now, if we compare that to OpenAI, they have three pre-built tools. So web search coming from OpenAI's web search capability from that you probably already use in ChatGPT, file search tool or computer tool. Computer tool is probably very powerful because it takes over your computer. However, I am not entirely certain how production ready it is just yet. Now, if we compare this to Query AI, Query AI has a nice collection of pre-built tools. So browser base, which is like browser automation. You have Firecrawl to crawl and scrape websites. So there's a nice collection. And I think what they also have, if you are signing up for Query AI's enterprise, you have those pre-built connectors to Salesforce, HubSpot, and Zapier. So finally, I would say here that Google's ADK is again winning because you have the rich ecosystem of Google, but you can also very easily integrate with third-party tools. So this is very well done from, from them. All right, so the fifth and last dimension is about how easy it is to deploy these agents. Going to Google's agent development kit, once you've put everything in the container, you have three different options. Either you deploy on Vertex AI or Cloud Run on Google Cloud, or you do it yourself. The advantage of Vertex AI is that you have built-in tracing. So this means that you can actually see what's happening under the hood with your agents. You can debug and refine your agents over time. Then for Vertex AI, it's just a pricing per hour. So it's pay per usage. There is not much about deployment on OpenAI's documentation because they don't do it for you. So I'm not gonna go into it. Now, if we look at Query AI's enterprise account, you can deploy their crews very easily by uploading your folder. So I think this is quite nice. Prices are tiered with Query AI. So depending on the usage, you pay more or less. So finally, I would say that Google's ADK is best because you have the most options. It's pay per usage, so you have it's more transparent. All right, so now we have evaluated the three frameworks across the five dimensions. And I think we can all agree that Google's agent development kit is the clear winner. There are so many use cases you can use it for. It is super robust. You can really trust the data that will come out of it. You're gonna be able to build complex AI agents very fast thanks to the pre-built connectors and APIs that you, that you can qu quickly connect them to. And then finally, you have a wide range of options when it comes to deployment. I would mention though that Query AI is probably still the easiest one to get started with. So if you are new to AI agents, you should probably start there. Now, if you want to get a more in-depth review of each of these frameworks, you can download the report below. If you need help building your first AI agent, you can also book a free strategy session with me below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you next week with more content about AI agents. Ciao.